Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have some interesting news here for you uh, about Xbox because it appears we might have a complete leak or a pretty close to complete leak of Microsoft's E3 2021 press conference. Now, obviously at this point, plans could change. There could be alterations to this, additions, subtractions. It's highly doubtful the actual digital event that they are going to be recording for this is done. Uh, chances are they're still adding and, and, and playing around with things. Uh, same for Nintendo, same for everyone uh, who's going to be involved at E3. But we have a report from WCCF Tech on this. Uh, some major games in here. Some of them expected, some of them maybe not. So before we talk about that, uh, I want to remind you, we do have a giveaway going on down in the pinned comment or the description for the month of April. Uh, we will not be having a giveaway next month because, hey, we have big plans for E3 2021. You're going to want to tune in uh, to our live stream. We now have so much stuff we're giving away, thousands of dollars with the stuff being given away during the stream. We're going to have 1v1 competitions where you guys could beat me in Smash Bros and win stuff. Uh also, hey, guess what? There's going to be one-on-one -on -one matches between Eric and I in various games where there's going to be punishments. We're going to have in-depth conversations. We're going to have Andre's Restart coming on to talk about us and react to things. HMK is going to be coming on as well. And other guests, uh, we have multiple companies uh, working with us to provide game codes to all of you guys, as many people as we can. Oh, and by the way, hey, even just tuning in before the stream begins, when, the, when we have our starting soon splash screen up, is still going to be a treat because I am proud to tell you guys that Grant Kirkhope, that's right, the composer for games like Banjo-Kazooie, uh, he actually did some music in recently World of Warcraft uh, Shadowlands, uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Basically, the guy who made a lot of music of our childhood and of today is providing music for our live stream. So you're going to want to tune in. It's going to be great. Let's get into the news now about Microsoft. So uh, this comes from a well-known Microsoft insider, according to WCCF Tech. Um, and this is that we're going to have basically four major pillar titles uh, that they're going to build their conference around. Uh, and, well, some of them really shouldn't be that surprising. Um, so this comes from a Reset Era thread on the forums. And the insider they're referencing is called Clobril. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, this person talks about... Uh, some games, some games that Microsoft's planning for E3. Not guaranteeing they're all launching this year, by the way, which I think is interesting. I feel like Microsoft should just show games that are coming this year because they've already showed a bunch of games like Fable that aren't. But, you know, they also bought a bunch of studios. Maybe they're still working things out uh, with what they want to do with that. All right, so the big four titles that they're going to apparently show up during the conference will be Halo Infinite and Age of Empires 4. I think that's expected. Obviously, Halo Infinite is supposed to be their holiday game this year. Naturally, we're going to see a whole bunch of that at E3. They just did a recent kind of uh, blowout of that game. A little bit of a blowout, a conversation anyways. And they did do a blowout for Age of Empires 4. So those two being like pillars, that's the expected. But here comes maybe the unexpected. Uh, Bethesda Starfield is going to be one of the big games shown off. Uh, we haven't really seen much of Starfield. We've, we've seen some screenshot leaks, but we really truly have not seen much of this game. And there's been like rumors out there that it's coming out this year. Uh, but that's not from this person. This person says they don't know if any of these games are coming this year, but they just know Microsoft's going to show them. Uh, and the other one, again, maybe not surprising, but also not announced yet, Forza Horizon 5. It's a game currently not even announced yet. So that is uh, a new announcement from Microsoft coming at E3, according to them. Uh, the exact quotes here said, Add Age of Empires 4, and I'm confident this is their AAA quadruple punch this summer independent of whether these four actually make a release this year or not. And this was what they were saying in response to somebody asking them about the Halo, Starfield, and for, uh, Forza Horizon 5 trifecta. Uh, following up the post, the insider said he also has an idea about Forza Horizon 5's location, which won't be Japan, as many people previously thought. Unfortunately, he didn't share this location just yet. Here's what he said. I'm with Jeff Grubb on this one, and I do expect Forza Horizon to show up this summer. I also might have an idea about the location, which is not Japan, but that info didn't went too well with Forza Horizon 4 last time, so I'll leave that to the team. So basically, he heard about locations with Forza Horizon 4 in the past, and then that ended up not being right, although he was right about when Forza Horizon 4 was going to get announced. Uh, so those are four really big titles. Obviously, Microsoft needs more than four games. 
Um, that might be like the four pillar games, but I, I, you really hope. I think you're gonna hear a lot about Game Pass. I think it's a given. Microsoft's gonna tout Game Pass. They're gonna talk about how more and more Bethesda, more and more of, of, of all these other games are gonna be coming to Game Pass. I'm uh, coming to Game Pass soon. I presume we're gonna hear about X Cloud because that's actually supposed to get out of beta at some point this year on some platforms. Maybe not all of them at once. Probably at least Android. So I feel like we're gonna hear about that. I think we're gonna hear him tout about their improvement in Game Pass subscription numbers, just because that is the only thing that Microsoft plans to report moving forward. We just got a report that it was at 23 million. Heck, maybe by E3. It's 30 million. You know, he's going to want to keep touting the growing Game Pass subscriber base and keep keep talking about how it is one of the greatest deals in gaming and really pump that up. Uh, maybe you'll hear him briefly mention Xbox Series X sales or S sales. Uh, maybe just, you know, not giving exact numbers to say, oh, it's our best selling system to date, you know, launch to date or whatever. And then you can extrapolate from there at least what the bare minimum number is because when they used to report sales data, who knows? Maybe he'll go back and he'll actually report sales data. Uh, maybe there'll be more acquisition announcements. Uh, in the past, Phil Spencer has announced studio acquisitions at E3, so there could be more of them announced. I also would like to see some second looks at other games. I'd like to see, you know, they unveiled the Xbox Series X with Hellblade, a new Hellblade game. I don't know why we haven't seen that since. That I mean, maybe that game was a ways off, but it, it would be nice to just get a little bit of an update on it because I don't think we're going to see Fable. I don't think that game's anywhere close to ready just based on the trailer, which the trailer looked great, but it, if we're honest, it's just CGI. We we hadn't really seen the game. I know some people are going to want to see things like Elder Scrolls Six, but. With the teaser we got last year for Elder Scrolls 6, it kind of felt like a, a, just a smidge further than the Metroid Prime 4 teaser for Nintendo. Uh, so, yeah. Also, by the way, speaking of Nintendo, just to bring them up, uh, when we did our last E3 uh, rumor video that has like over 10,000 views at this point, uh, just so you know, everything has already come true so far in that video. I'm telling you. Go watch that video. We're probably going to do a follow-up on it because so much has come true. It's so rare that we have one of these rumors, one of these leaks, one of these things happen where suddenly things are lining up and coming true at such a rapid pace that it's time to really talk about it and take it even more serious than I took it at that time. And I already was taking it pretty serious. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting to revisit that here in a little bit. Uh, and maybe just go over possible expectations based on things that they have said uh, for E3. But as always, uh, be sure to tune into our coverage for E3. I'll put a link down. We actually have a uh, live stream link already up for June 12th, the first day of E3. Uh, I might move it around because you never know. There could be an EA play. There could be something that happens before June 12th. So then we have to adjust our streaming schedule. Uh, but until we get the announcement of the exact time everything starts, we're just going to go with the official launch day of E3, which is June 12th. Uh, the stream is already up and scheduled. You can go to it. You can hit the little bell on it that says notify me when stream goes live. We are putting that up you know, 46 days ahead of time. Because we want to give everyone ample time to go to it, know where we are, know where to go for our coverage, know where you need to be for the giveaways, know where you need to be to hear Grant Kirkhope's amazing music, know where you need to be to see Eric and I and the brand new set we're building and the giveaways and all of our live reactions and our pre-shows and our post-shows and HMK and Andre. We, we want to know where you guys can go and have that to you in your hands right now. So it's there. I can't wait to show you our new set. I can't wait to show you what is cooking. This is... The most, like, I'm honestly a bit overwhelmed, <laughs> if I'm just being completely honest. This is a show unlike anything I've ever put on. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you like this set. Oh, just wait. Just wait. We're only getting started. All right, folks. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jazz from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.